to Mint. I am Ramya Nair. In today's edition of From the Newsroom, we are joined by Prashant Nanda. Welcome to the show, Prashant. Thank you. We are here to talk about the central government's move to make national level wages a mandatory requirement for states. So, Prashant, what is the government's move all about? See, the central government is now trying to enforce the national level minimum wage in all states. That means they will make the national level minimum wage a statutory requirement for all the states so that this national level minimum wage can be given to all the workers, all the unskilled workers. So this will benefit some 400 plus million people. And the government wants that since there is a lot of inflation and less than 100 rupees is very poor wage for any worker, they want to increase it to 115 which is the national level. By linking to the national level minimum wage, they want to give a little bit of respect to the dignity of labor that these unskilled workers are doing. And by that, they want to bring the, 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 the wage, what they call, to the humane status. So, are the states agreeable to this? See, more or less the states understand that what the center is doing is within the law because the, the, the labor is in the concurrent list and the central government can frame law accordingly. And they also realize that there is a lot of uh, inflation in the country, the essential prices are going up. So, the, the standard of living of people need to go up and for that the, sal the, the wage needs to go up. So, they also understand that. Two things has happened. A parliamentary, consultative, a parliamentary consultative committee attached to the labor ministry has already given it a go ahead. And a committee of secretaries comprising at least 15 departments and ministry of the central government has also given it a go ahead in the last week of August. So, that means in a, in a broad spectrum there is unanimity on this decision. But the problem is some sectors and certain pockets of, 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 of the departments believe that perhaps this will fuel inflation because this will kill propel uh, rural demand and two, this may fuel migration of workers from the agriculture sector to other sectors. But some analysts believe including economists believe that this may not be true because if the agriculture sector can withstand the, the, the NRAGS program which largely pays more than 100 rupees and to the tune of 191 rupees for example in Haryana, uh, then this minimum wage uh, can equally be tackled by the agriculture sector. So, what is the move ahead on this? So, now they have got go ahead from two committees. Okay. The trade unions, the, the employees union want 10,000 rupees minimum wage per month for this worker which is 333 rupees. But the labor ministry feel that 333 rupees per day minimum wage is too much right now. So, they are going exactly the half of it perhaps and they believe that ki since the consultative committee has given a go ahead and the, the committee of secretaries have given a go ahead, now on Thursday they are having a final round of discussion with the state labor ministers and after they get a go ahead from the states which they believe they will, they will move a cabinet note and, and to, to amend the minimum wage act of 1948. Just to remember the minimum wage act was last amended in 1986 which is quite quite some three decades back. So, and then it was more of a procedural nature. Now, they want to change certain uh, rules so that this statutory minimum uh, wage can be implemented all across and benefit mil millions of people. So, this is more of a kind of uh, arm admi kind of pro the, the move from the labor ministry which it believes will help the mass. So, it does look like that the minimum wages for labors in states would soon become a reality. Thank you for your thoughts Prashant. Uh, thank you. Let's hope so. On that note, we end today's show. Stay tuned for more.